I have a uh, I have a person who came just to hear today's sermon, and I've never done this before. Um, but I'm 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 scrapping it on the spot, and I'll give it next week. Um, just want to talk to you from my heart. This week, I was at an event in Columbus um, on immigration reform, and a lot of the talk was about uh, what children are going through at the border and uh, things of that sort. And, and while I was there, I was trying to pray about the decision that's in front of us as a church on a playground. And every time I tried to pray, I felt convicted. And, and I feel that as your pastor, one day I will stand before the Lord and answer for how I've led this church. And as I was at this event and driving home, I had a vivid image of standing before the Lord and having Him show me the needs of children who we could have helped had we not spent so much money on ourselves. One of my concerns over this situation is the unity of our church and that this be a church where we all value one another and love one another, not, not pit one side against the other. Um, I want us to work really hard at being a Jesus-centered church and, and making the decisions we think Jesus would have us make. This is really a dangerous thing to do, because I've not talked to our board about this. Uh, they were expecting a regular, and I talked to a couple of them. Um, I'm going to ask something of our board, and I'm going to ask something of our congregation, and I, I, hope, that you will, I hope that you will agree. Um, what I would like to suggest that we do is... Um, come up with a, a, a simpler, uh, less expensive plan for playground. Um, uh, build it outside <clears throat> and spend at least as much on children in need as we spend on ourselves. Um, we had planned on, on spending around $100,000 uh, for a playground and uh, I know it, I'm, um, I know there are all kinds of ways that it would, it would bless our children. Um, I know it would be nice. But, but I can't justify as your leader doing something nice for a group that are already so privileged and already have so much when there are, are, are kids in, in Springfield who are suffering, there are, there are kids in refugee camps uh, who are suffering, there are children at the border who are suffering. Um, I, I would love to to, to needs like that instead of spending it on ourselves. Um, I'm... I'm I'm moved this week just by the injustice that's in the world. And I want... I want our hearts to be moved about situations like that. I want us to care about people who are suffering.
I don't know what the vote is. The board will be meeting afterwards and, and we'll talk about this. Um, maybe they'll fire me for making such a rash suggestion. <laughs> I, I doubt that. Um, but, but I just need to share with you from my heart that that's where I'm at at this. I don't want this to divide us. I don't want anyone to feel like they're not valued. I don't want older people to feel like they're not valued. I don't want younger people to care that the older people uh, are not concerned with their needs. Um, I, I want this to pull us together as a church. And I think this is the way to do it. Let me say a word of prayer. Father, I thank you uh, for this day. I thank you for these people. Um, thank you for all that you've given to us. Thank you for all the ways that you've blessed us. Father, we are such a blessed people. You have given us so, so much. And Lord, I know that I was just, uh, I was convicted, Lord, about praying for a playground when I wasn't praying for children who are in need. And Father, I, I pray that you would change our hearts. Lord, I pray that you would use this moment in the church to determine who we are. I pray that you would make our church feel more like heaven to everyone who comes through the doors. Father, I pray that you would work in our hearts, make us more like Jesus Christ. Help us to care about the things that Jesus cares about. Help us to value the things that he values. Lord, help us to do without. Lord, not only in our budget as a church, but in our lives as individuals. Help us to sacrifice for your kingdom. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen.